all the persons and the certain set of fixed procedures are need to be followed when the law is violated. During in judicial system, the concept of mechanism of courts that a citizen can approach when a law is violated. For example, in districts we have district courts, for in for statements we have a high court, and for the whole, for all the high for all the country we have a supreme court. The judiciary in India is independent of the executive and legislature. It is important for it to retain its impartiality. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the country. Below the Supreme Court, there are high courts in each state. Let us learn about the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is refers to the guardian of the constitution. The Supreme Court of India is the highest judicial form. It comprises of Chief Justice of India and 30 other judges. The Supreme Court has extensive original jurisdiction for the protection of fundamental rights of citizens. It has also acts as a court to settle disputes between various governments in the country. The Supreme Court is located in New Delhi. As an advisory court, it hears the matter specifically be referred to it under the Constitution by the President of India. Jurisdiction of the Supreme Court The jurisdiction of the Supreme Court is threefold, namely Original Jurisdiction, Appellate Jurisdiction and Advisory Jurisdiction. Original Jurisdiction Under the Article of 131 of the Constitution of India, it deals with the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India. Appellate Jurisdiction The Appellate Jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India is provided by the Article 132, 133, 134, 136 and 138 of the Constitution of in India. Advisory Jurisdiction Advisory Jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India is provided by the Article 143 of the Constitution of India. These jurisdictions are provided in the Constitution of India. The next is the High Court. The High Court is the highest court in the state, whereas the Supreme Court is the highest court in the country. Two or more states can share a same High Court. For example, the states such as Telangana and Andhra Pradesh share the High Court which is present in Hyderabad. The High Court consists of a Chief Justice and other judges, same as of Supreme Court. The President appoints the Chief Justice and other judges of the High Court in the constellation with the Governor of the State and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Judges of the High Court are retired at the age of 62 years. The High Court supervises and monitors the working of the lower courts. It maintains a record of all the proceedings and decisions which can be referred by the lower courts. Now next learn about the subordinate courts. What are subordinate courts? Under the High Court, there is a hierarchy of courts which are referred in the Indian constitution as subordinate courts. Since these courts have come into existence because of entanglements by the state government, the nomenclature and designation differs from state to state. The state is divided into several districts and each district has a district court which has an appellate jurisdiction in the district. Under the district courts, there are also lower courts such as additional district court, subordinate sub courts, municipal magistrate court, court of special judicial magistrate of the second class, court of special judicial magistrate of the first class, Court of Special Municipal Magistrate for the Factories Act and Labor Laws, etc. At the bottom of the hierarchy of subordinate courts are Panchayat courts or Nyaya Panchayat or Panchayat adults, etc. These are, however, not considered as courts under the preview of the criminal court's jurisdiction. The principal function of district court is to hear appeals from the subordinate courts. Here is an image of, here is an image of district court. An impartial judiciary. Impartiality is the essential for judiciary to work in the interest of justice and ensure that government gets equal protection of the law. Judiciary works independently of the executive and the legislature. Judges cannot be removed from the position. No pressure can be placed on the judges to influence their decision. This is how the judiciary works in India.